in this video uh, we would be moving ahead in this series in the last video we have successfully developed about the front end of uh, our article management system and here is the view of it uh, we developed in our last video where we are showing the articles in a grid format like this so in our in the current video we are majorly focusing on uh, the dynamic part of it we will try to make this page as a dynamic and here instead of showing the static articles we would fetch the articles from the database and show it on this page so let's start the development of it so this is our controller a home controller okay and this is the view of it and we are going to use model here to communicate with the database in our backend videos we have not used model we just use controllers and views to com uh, communicate with the database and to uh, render the view of all the backend pages so uh, this is a very good thing i like about code igniter is uh, like it does not make make it compulsory to use mvc all over the places even if you don't use model it's absolutely fine but it's a good habit to use model as uh, our code is quite managed so in this page i will uh, in this uh, front end thing i would try to uh, make it easy for you to understand how to use models in mvc framework code igniter so let's start the video so this is these are the two files and this is our page so first of all what we will be doing is we'll try to already the database has been connected because we are using the same uh, theme same code igniter setup basically and here inside the database.php if you go you would see that the database is already connected here this is a my database connection and it's working fine because uh, we have just completed our backend series and it is a completely dynamic thing so it's working fine so first thing is to check the database connections so you can go inside your application config folder and you can go and check for the database.php file okay once that is done and I think so in auto load also we might have loaded uh, the database library here so we don't need to load the library again and again so here we can start with our development now first of all in order to show all the existing articles we will require a model to communicate so let's create a model and call it a article model dot php extends ci underscore model that's it and now basically i would require a function to fetch articles i'm just giving a name as fetch articles so this will fetch all articles fetch all articles let's give it a name more precise and here basically we can use all the this TB query and here you can specify your query so if I go in the articles and go in the SQL we can click on select what all things I want to select here I will mention it and where basically the status is 
ustedes? One. Correct. So here, <clears throat> one means published and zero means unpublished. So whatever articles are published, I just want to show those articles. So I'm just passing it as status one. So if I run the query here, same query, if I run it here, it should give me all the published articles. That's it. Okay. And if I just want to show you query is running fine, if you can pass zero, that means you will get the unpublished article. So this is the query we will be running for the same. And I will be storing the result on this variable and I would return dollar result query result underscore array so what I will do is like uh, this query is getting executed and it will return certain row so here it is an, like an object so we are just converting that into an array this is underscore array and we are just returning it so in order to use this article model we just need to include or load this particular model here dollar this load model and we can pass the name as article model or am if you want to keep it short dollar this am and then the function name whatever you want here so i just want this function to get executed and this i'm going to store it as a result and let's try to print this result whatever we are getting here and also okay, die it here so if I reload this page, you can see that all the uh, valid entries are returned to us on this particular line. So we have successfully created a model and we have implemented uh, and we have developed a function and we have e easily used that model function on a particular variable. Now, if uh, anyone has doubt on this particular line, this is just the shorthand of article model. This is not compulsory. You can remove this and you can use the same name here. That, that will work fine as well. But sometimes it happens that the name is very big. So in order to simplify it, we can specify a shorthand operation and we can use that instead of typing the entire name everywhere so this is how we use a model now in order to uh, view uh, in order to include that in our view we need to pass those data so like data let's tell it like a result Result. and what we will be doing is we'll be passing those data on this page and we will uncomment we'll comment this i'm so sorry so here is the view and everything is working fine also one more thing you will notice here on this view page this is the result so this is the variable which is accessible here if anyone has a uh, doubt here you can check my basic uh, starting videos so it will be very clear 
what I am doing on this line. So here if I try to reload the page and do control U, you would see that I am getting the proper data here. So just now one thing we have to do is we have to make this particular thing dynamic this one so first of all i will remove all the extra static thing and we will create those dynamically i just want only one article here to be displayed and that's it that's good okay now first of all uh, if you see that we have written here four articles so here it should count number of articles so for that basically we already have an array here so what we can do is we can just use size of function and we can pass the array in here so it will be dynamically fetched so you can see that there are two articles to be shown the second thing is for this page so here we require a loop basically so we will be using a for loop okay so we have our uh, for each loop we will be using basically the result as key and value pair and this is our div which is getting repeated so i'm just removing it from here and i'm just putting it inside our for each loop let's do it like this okay so this div is inside for each okay and here the for each starts php ends and the div for each end one it is php tag so it's working fine now if i try to reload the page you would see that the same thing is repeated twice because there are two articles stored in total now we just have to use it uh, use the dynamic variables and that's it so in order to use it and you are not sure then you can just print the value of it so here is a value for this one the second value is for this one so here basically first of all you just need to show the asset thing so here dollar value what is the value you can see this log image log underscore id now let me reload it you can see that this is dynamic now and instead of this we can put the title dollar value of blog title this is the blog title of it and in the view uh, we can basically use anchor type make it as an anchor instead of button just make it as an anchor and here we can use href okay so here the href would be on click of this a detail page should open so here i can say that blog
and here I can pass the blog ID. By default, I'll initialize it as zero. If in case uh, we miss to pass the blog ID, otherwise it will throw an exception error. Okay, so on click of the view button, I have to call this blog detail. So here it is. base underscore url and here would be our home controller and inside that block detail inside that basically we have our variable again which is value of blog id we'll be passing blog id for the same so let's check this you can check it at the bottom left section it is very properly displayed and here also you can check it. so it is not giving us any error right now because we have not loaded any of the views here so for that particular thing also we will be using a view so here it is now i'm just commenting this thing or i'm just removing it for now and trying to reload it so guys this is the way we display our articles what we created from the back end and also let's go in the back end and try to change the title this is admin so i'm just trying to edit certain things uh, here it is published i am mm, let's edit this currently you can see that there is nothing written here and just like to save this and i will just comment it i'll just reload it and you can see that the title has been changed properly and this is working fine so yes guys uh, it's working fine now let's do one thing i think so there is one article which is deleted or unpublished basically not deleted so i'm just publishing that article as well to check if my functionality is working fine or not and i have published all the three articles and i'm just reloading it and i can see that the article is properly visible here now uh, related to the ui um, as I, I also mentioned here previously that uh, the image size and all the images size are for the dummy purpose use only so that's why uh, the layout is not similar and this grid this card is smaller than this too so anyways the functionality is clear i hope so so in case you have any doubt Please feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you guys. In next video, we will be developing uh, the detail part of it. And I hope um, that will end our mini project. Thank you guys.